Hey everyone and welcome to my next video. I am going to show you all the applications that we have on the software for the sake of time, let's begin. Now applications are of course up located on the top left. We go ahead and click and we have a menu coming up. We have the basics, we have accessories, games, graphics, internet, office, and video. Uh, and of course we have this option down here for 9.10, 9.04 and below will not have this, it would have the and remove but the Ubuntu Software Center will be the permanent um, way to install applications onto your Ubuntu from 9.10 and on. So let's begin. Accessories, we have calculator, CD, DVD creators, character maps, disk usage analyzers, text editors, manage print jobs, etc, etc, down here. So I'm going to start with the calculator, it's a simple program. Um, you can have it, all of these different things here, a customized log, Y, etc, very complicated, or you can just have a basic you know, basic plus minus times divided by calculator. Next we have the CD DVD creator. It'll open up a little window. Right now I already have a little icon here. But what you do is you basically drag and drop or you can copy copy something through here, right click and copy, then paste it on here and it'll put it right here and it'll be ready to be burnt by clicking right to disk and of course you will need to have a disk present in your CD drive preferably a blank disk because you can't really you know overwrite anything uh, next we have the character map simple a bunch of different characters that are not available on your keyboard you can just double click on any of them that you like and they'll be copied down here you can highlight them like this and just press copy and now you can just paste them over and over again anywhere in your computer I'm just showing you how you can do it on this piece here and you can have lots and lots of icons I mean fonts sorry uh, the next we have disk usage analyzer simple program that scans your whole computer for any files or anything that might be taking up a lot of space it just gives you a map of what you have the very left icon here is home the next one is your whole computer the next one is a certain folder you would like to pick the next one is a network folder I just did the home going to analyze it for me and here we are here's what we have right here is a list of different files and folders that you can see you can actually right click you can move the trash or open folder in another window to see what's inside just so you can look around or you can just use it here you can open it to the plus here so minus there expand and collapse and we have a diagram here of what we have and where it's all my information is this is my user in the very middle and you can see a sort of chart coming out you can, it's easy to go around and find your applications and what's taking up a lot of space we have also have a tree map view just for those that like this view better they both have their own advantages but I like uh, either one specifically next is a G edit text editor simple enough uh, text here you have a file browser you can go ahead and do a little side pane here that's where it comes from you can also do highlight mode which is if you're programming you can highlight all um, specific commands and such in a way that's easy for your eye to see and it's a lot better um, to help organize your program and, or scripts or markup language or whatever you like and you have of course the print ability save open new zoom find etc next we have managing print jobs it's a small window that comes up anytime you print something it'll be right here and you can print as many as you want and it'll show you different uh, cues on what's printing you can right click on whatever option you like or whichever printer or print job you like and then just press cancel hold release or reprint to actually do little commands to it that's all that does next we have passwords and encryption keys this is where it stored all of your passwords such as aim yahoo online passwords so on and so forth uh, search for files you can search basically for files I have some files somewhere it's called fstab if I look for it there it is it does a really quick find for it um, it's very fast it's because of the indexing ability in Ubuntu 9.10 or extension 4 whatever uh, you can take a screenshot of your whole system you, the whole desktop here is the first option grab a window you can pick any window that's coming up or you can select an area to grab I'll go ahead and show you how that works once you click OK or select, you can go ahead and just drag and drop, or just drag. And then there it is, my screenshot picture. And that's all that works. Next we have a terminal. Uh, basically, this is where a lot of commands are put in through text. 
uh, if you are online and you're looking for a problem and someone has a solution for you and it's saying to input this into the terminal or copy and paste this, this is what they mean. Copy whatever they have and just right click here and paste. Now you have to trust them in order to do it safely because a lot of people will, not a lot of people, but there are people out there that will try and trick you. Here, copy and paste this, it's funny or it's cool, you know. But just make sure, one, you have a problem to solve and two, you trust the person. Otherwise, there's no point in even being in there. Then we have the Tomboy Notes, simple application for managing notes. You can do uh, new notes here, pop it up here, we can look review of notes already available, and we can link from note to note, have a little linking system going on. Next we have games, I will not review these, these are simple, uh, blackjack, chess, tetris, etc. Next we have the graphics of uh, fspot, photo manager, a photoshop like editor, gimp, and then we have open office draw which is a simple slash pretty complicated advanced uh, I gotta stop saying complicated advanced drawing you can do flow charts logos and such like that of course we have Xane image scanner for scanning your images from a scanner you can't just look at it and tell the computer to scan it you have to have a scanner present next we have empathy I'm client for Yahoo aim and other messengers we have evolution mail for uh, your mail connecting to pop mail just like Outlook would we have a Firefox web browser we have remote desktop viewer terminal server clients transmission BitTorrent for P2P downloads or peer-to-peer -peer, uh, file transfers and Ubuntu one for online storage in office we have a dictionary evolution again the mail uh, presentation, spreadsheet, word processor. These three are in the open office suit. Uh, presentation is basically a word PowerPoint. Spreadsheet is a word Excel and word processor is a Microsoft Word, etc. <coughs> These all come free with Ubuntu. You don't have to pay 200 bucks for a licensing fee for Microsoft Windows just to do a few files for school or work, you know, something necessary. Next we have sound and video. I have a disk burner, simple application, open it up, gives you, okay, what do you want to do? Create an audio, do you want to do a CD or DVD from a data project, video project, disk copy, or burn images. Next we have a movie player, simple enough, you don't really have to use it from here, but you just double click on the movie and this will pop up, or the video. And of course you have a little, you have a little option here to go to BBC online, it'll look to a server and you can actually play videos from there. You can do from YouTube. And you can search for video and you can actually watch it right through your video so you don't even have to connect it's a lot faster and it's a lot you can actually I think you can save the video <laughs> that's how that works then we have rhythm box music player a way to organize your music library Oh, at first it doesn't actually pop up, you have to click on it from the tray up here. We can go ahead, we have a lot of stuff to do, um, you can import stuff, you just drag and drop, or you can do music import, and you can import any file you want, or you can just drag and drop from your music or whatever you have files at, and you can do also uh, radios, online, last FM, podcasts, you, can, you have your feeds here, download music online. And you, these are basically free songs that you can download, but you can also give donations to the artists, which is very helpful. And last but not least, we have a sound recorder. Simple little window pops up, and you press record, and you record, and you save it, and done. And of course, we have the Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, this is where all your applications will be located, so that are available to be installed. For any computer that's before, again, 9.10. Um, 9.04 Ubuntu etc. This will not be here, it will be replaced with add slash remove application. But this here program is going to be replacing that. It's a lot simpler to use, very more user friendly. And basically go to something, open it up, look I like games, I like 3D chess, double click on that, then click install and bam. You can also see a little preview in this area here. And that's how that works. And again, thank you for watching one of my videos. I hope this helped you out. I'll be doing places next. And thank you and bye.